let me just start out by saying these are not fire induced lamps. There's um, a little battery powered light in there. So I'm not playing with fire. I do like to have it on my little uh, stick that makes an incredible smell. But this was basically a project inspired by a ton of sumonagashi papers I have lying around the house, many of them done on coffee filters. And I love the saturation of the inks and how they come out. And I just started to play with the resin papers and you can catch that session in an earlier video. I'll put that link in the description. But I just have a million of these, these papers lying around my house and in stacks and piles. And I love the transparent quality and was thinking, hey, what could I do with these? And literally a light bulb kind of went off in my head and I was thinking these would be really cool for a Japanese style lantern lamp inspired by those kind of paper lanterns you see hanging from time to time. So this video is just basically a kind of a recap of all the different processes I use to pull these little lanterns together. And I'm hoping it will just inspire you to maybe make some kind of lampshade of your own or use them in a different way that's not just a, a junk journal or a scrapbook, but something a little different. So let's get started. So I have my sumanagashi coffee filters here in front of me and I don't know if sumanagashi is actually a verb but I'm making it one for this tutorial apparently. I'm cutting off all of those little rough edges that are just kind of I don't know inconsistent looking and it's just going to clean it up a little bit so we have the top and the bottom of the filter and it's in this nice shape that just goes automatically into kind of a little lampshade size and this is just kind of playing with it and curling it around my fingers is what also got me into thinking well this could be kind of cute little lamps so i'm just continuing by stapling three times on the bottom and then covering it with a little washi tape that i had around the house it was the perfect color and i'm just thinking it worked really well with these neutral tones so i'll just keep doing that cutting off the edges forming the shape and adding the washi tape. But what I started to realize after stapling these up and sitting there for a second is the washi tape wasn't really sticking. So nothing like a little trip to Florence to get you inspired and thinking of a new way. And I remembered, dang, I have those washi tapes that I made. Why don't I just use those, make some more, make a tutorial. That's down in the description as well. And give it another shot. And I'm also bringing in here some of the resin papers I made that had type, uh, like a type of Japanese imagery from old woodblock prints. And I just love them. I thought the combination of the two, the sumonagashi style with these prints would just like make a really cool group on as a centerpiece on your table. They were also covered with a matte resin that was mixed with a little bit of sepia, colored paint just to kind of make them a little bit more matte make them a little less shiny and give them a little bit of a weathered look and again adding in this dendrite type pattern washi with this like i love it with this fish type lamp it, i think it, it looks reminiscent of coral and the sea and it's just coming together pretty nicely and it's sticking really nicely which is what i needed the store-bought washi was just not holding up and it was peeling off within a matter of minutes. This tape is super strong and can be saved for later and I love it for that too. I have it ready for my next project. Do you want to add in here that I am using battery powered lights? I know I said it at the beginning, but I am serious. It's nothing you want to put a flame under. These battery powered tea lights are super cute, easy to use. And I found them with an online retailer because I just couldn't find them locally here at the stores in Italy, but I'm sure that you'll be able to find them in quantities of about 12 to a set. So again, stay away from those hot flames and the resin papers.
So my ideas are spinning. I'm thinking, gosh, what flowers could I tuck in with these to make them a lovely centerpiece on a fall inspired table? Maybe some rose hips, maybe some twigs. How cool would they be if there was a hundred of them on a table for a wedding? Um, how could I make these into lamps? How can I incorporate some twigs or some ceramic pieces that could make them into something else? I don't know. I'm sure you have some ideas and I hope to hear from you soon. And if you can, leave a few of those ideas down in the comments. I'd love to hear what you would be doing with these lamps if you got a chance to make one for yourself.